Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Aranus Assault Starbite playthrough in a Warhammer Total War, Total War Warhammer 2 even, um, where, well, we're doing well, we are pushing up, we are potentially going to push for a peace treaty with the Orcs soon, uh, but not too soon, and we are preparing to invade down, finally get around to invading down south, um, we are getting into a very, we are in a much better position now. It sounds daft, we've taken so long to expand in this campaign. Uh, hmm. I need the public order, so I'm going to take the infamy hit. I mean, the public order will stabilise with time, but it's how much time I've got to allow for it to stabilise. Wow, I really do think the greenskins went nuts in this one. Though it looks like the vampires have become vastly powerful. I have noticed in a lot of my recent playthroughs, the vampires do seem to be incredibly powerful again. Um, so they may need a little bit of tweaking after the last batch, because they did get a few buffs, which have definitely helped them. Oh, I completely forgot, missed the, that the Greenskins had a settlement there. Ha! <laughs> and there. So I've cut those settlements off massively. Not hugely worried by them, to be fair. One day I might persuade Telia to actually trade with me. It's not going to happen anytime soon, to be fair. Now we're going to push all the coast, sort of coastal regions down here. Um, at which point we will offer a peace treaty and then we'll start cutting into the coasts down here as well. Is Oxenfort one of my uh, legendaries? Because I know I was having an issue where I wasn't seeing them all. No. Burt Black, Bones, Trusty Montford, and Two Toes. Seriously, don't get why I can't see them all. It is a bit weird. March. What? Ah, I hate autos. Because that, if I'd not autoed, would have been an absolute stomping. Um... Growth buildings to start with. Hang on, was that a growth building? No. Ah, uh, you can start heading down here. Oh, no, we're not meant to. Ah, uh, why didn't I start going that way? I do hate the way, but it doesn't take you to see. It will always try and go land routes if it can. Which sometimes makes you take a long route. Here should sort itself in time. Mm. 
Is there a limit to the amount of these I'm allowed, which is not telling me somewhere? Where's their building? No. Ooh, I hadn't realised that provides a garrison of a Necrofex. That's quite awesome. If anybody knows how I can get the other two recruited, please let me know, because I'm honestly not sure at this point. We may as well perform this right, because it's free money. We're not getting a huge amount from it at this point, but still. I mean, not like we're short on income, to be fair. Hmm. See, there is another building I don't have. Um, which does make all sea regions visible. I'm not that fussed by that, to be fair. That'll do. Next turn we'll be uh, re built up again and we'll start pushing again. I could push Karazakarak to get a full-size settlement. So again, I'm not massively fussed, so... I'm a, I'm a pirate, why would I want to go inland? So say our main aim now is just to conquer this coastline, at which point... Yeah, we've put the orcs down, so we will, uh... Yeah, once we've, once we've taken what we want, we will offer them a peace treaty, because they, they can't really go to war with me. I'll deal with here, and we'll also sail over to deal with the Dreadfleet and uh, Oak Lothan again. Because we were over there having some fun when we got pulled back by all the, all the wars which were going on over here. It is a bit odd. I do think these guys having their own storyline is probably one of the better. You know, I playing this on the Mortal Empires map, you don't get the storyline. Which I'm a bit confused by, I've got to be honest. Um... I see no reason to not have the storyline in both modes. I mean, it, it would have taken them longer to implement, I guess, but I can't be that difficult. They've ended their non-aggression pact with me. What am I possibly going to do about a raid? Yeah, they're not on the coast anyway, so who cares? That's not bad. I don't need it. Gonna keep buffing Aranessa because I did lose some of her abilities. This time I'm not gonna make the same mistake. It's... No. I just don't trust the auto resolve with, auto resolve with these guys because we just take too much damage. So we are going to, basically, we're just going to form a line of Necrofex Glossuses, and we are going to batter them. Um, I'm probably going to take my Depths Lord out of here as well, just to use as a spy and build up something else. Probably put another Necrofex in here, to be fair, because they are so OP. Um... Because I don't, having, I don't like having multiple casters, I never think it's a good idea. He's such a small formation we use. 
Which, to be fair, is probably dangerous against some factions, but not here. To be fair, these guys are probably not even going to get here. Oh, let's buff up. One of these guys, accuracy. Oh, let's switch to them. <laughs> I love the look of this. And send the giant crabs out. Oh, and let's throw a heal on them. And they are already broken. I think that's how it's done. You know, it was only a small force, but the giant crabs at the end battering into them. You know, it's just devastating, this setup. I mean, I could potentially pull a bit more in. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of some of the others. These guys really are just filler uh, to fill the gaps. I mean, they are useful. These guys really do help clearing up any infantry. These guys are just meat shields, to be fair, uh, to help stop anything while my crabs do their job. I mean, if these guys... We come up against a large anti-large force. Bretonia would potentially, if they were still in existence, would potentially be problematic. But I suspect over time a lot of these units are going to get nerfed substantially. Hmm. Not him, it's O'Bones. There are walls here. Not for long. As I said, I do actually kind of want to replace one of these guys with one of these Necrofexes. I would actually replace one of them with a, um, hang on, I lost, did, did Aranessa not have, oh yeah, I did lose my queen best, didn't I, god damn it, I forgot that, why, why did I notice that, I'd forgotten that, I was quite happy having forgotten that as well. Thank you. 
Be fair, everyone else is going to go and attack the gate. In fact, I'm even going to put a volley into the gate. Hold while we kill the gate, because we will kill the gate far quicker this way. Should I say that? These guys will make short work of our gate. These guys can shoot and move, so we're get wandering them forwards. These guys are getting forwards because I don't want to leave them in the open. And debuffing them all. And these guys can literally just form up there. And my Necrofexes are just going to march through the gate. Because there's no reason for them not to. Let's be honest, at this point, this is already over. Oh, making the trolls bounce. Oh, wow. You guys, as you are the only people who can get up there, can charge up there. You can be broken out and formed there. Everything else can just, just do a mass melee rush. Oh, so my Necrofex is hit here first. Oops, I miscast that a bit. You guys can certainly keep pushing this way. Oh, their lord's coming back. Briefly. 
Oh, I love the way he started running with his stuff above his head. Oh, there he is. Only fighting, because we knew it was going to be an easy victory, guys, but... The auto would have we'd have lost a couple of, at least a couple of units. They only mean base units, but I can't replace them as easily in this army, and that I shouldn't have to. So, kind of wish the auto would take into account your um, your victory percentages. I get why it doesn't. It's to try and force you to fight battles, but battles like that are just a bit pointless, to be fair, because. It's like in my Norska campaign, if I autoed, I took far more losses, but the battles, because I have less troops, took a while to fight, which meant that every, get, uh, you know, towards the end, I was fighting, you know, two or three battles every session, which took up most of the session, which actually meant we didn't get much done in any of the sessions. It's good fun, well, it's good fun for a while, but when every session is literally assaulting a settlement, it gets a little repetitive. Buff up the campaign movement range a bit as well. Oh, and I think our main force is ready to go. Well, not our main force, but our, our southern our southern assault force there. I really don't care what they're doing. I want to pay attention to the orcs though. Just in case they throw something at me though. At this point, as I said, I think they're currently licking their root wounds. They will be building up and I need to do my damage to them quickly before they have a chance because they, they could throw out a few armies which could cause us problems. But so long as we blitzkrieg through here, we should do it fast enough to uh, stop anything too bad. Sorry, I was muted there. We did have another Queen Best to put in. Okay, that's all. Awesome. Easy also. Ah, 
was hoping I'd have another Queen Bess. Looks like another very quick battle for us to fight, guys. Because let's be honest, this is going to be a walk in the park. Exact same battle as last time. I'm not even going to use the same tactics. We're literally just going to march on the gate, push through. Um, I will set my guys to attack the gate and then I will set them to charge it. Because they will shoot it as they move forward. So they'll probably break it before we get there. Just want to make sure... Sometimes things which auto shoot if you control force melee they don't shoot when sorry shoot or move don't they do look awesome Just the extra reload speed Debuff them all, spawn some units on them. Did we literally shoot a... Oh, we shot, literally shot an archer off the, off the top there. How awesome is that? Honestly, I'm not even sure these guys are particularly useful anymore. Moving my big guy out to just try and move some of these through so they can actually attack from behind as well. Hearing them shooting into them there. You guys can charge up here. You guys can group just be used as a mallet here. You guys can go that way, you guys can go this way. I'm gonna double time this guys, cause let's be honest, this is already over. Let's all charge those trolls in the center and shoot them. And it's over. Again, the auto would have lost far more, which is why I fought that. Even though it wasn't a particularly challenging battle, 
We did take a few losses with this unit, but that's because I wasn't really paying attention to what I did. And again, I'm a bit... I don't really need some of these units. I could almost replace a lot of these units with more high-tier units, but then it would just be ridiculous. I mean, it's already a bit ridiculous, let's be honest. They would have to come at me with something. I mean, an army of full black orcs would potentially be dangerous, but it wouldn't because they're anti-infantry. They would have to have a full anti-large setup, really. And then my uh, non-anti-large... To be fair, we'd still shred most things. Anyway, guys, that is where we're going to have to leave this one. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are still enjoying this playthrough. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, uh, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Fanatical. So please check them out. And if you have been enjoying this, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time.